Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here and in today's video we're going to be going over all the ways that you can get a three star unlock on Gwenpool or even if you're really really lucky and you have a lot of gold saved not me of course because you know my gold is like next to nothing right now uh, you may in fact be able to get a four star Gwenpool who knows that might be possible for you uh, but we're going to go over all of the ways that you can complete this event which may be the last event for the month of may we need to double check the subtotal math to kind of get a better idea if we're actually getting to 750k or not so if you're ready to go everybody then let's boil this down So uh, let's let's start here. This is the subtotal for the month of May. This is the Firestar event that we're at right now. Uh, that stuff at the, the top's not that important. In fact, we can uh, probably zoom in a bunch here. Now, we've basically got... Well, with this Gwenpool event, we're basically getting to the point where we're going to have all the available items. The Searing Boots was obtained, or will be obtained, rather. You'll be finishing this off, I guess, uh, with this Cosmic Corsman event. And then the Red Hot Gloves, which is going to be part of the new uh, Gwenpool event. So all five of the items are here now, and you can see this down below. As far as the Web Milestone Daily, this started late. So we're getting only 26 days of this. This is the 2325 times 26. We have the Free Claim Fridays. There's one more to go. And uh, yeah, so if we look at all of the events that we've had so far, and I've inputted the numbers on this, there's only one thing missing. Allegedly, there's going to be an alliance event. I believe it might be a war event called Rally Point, which is supposed to start, but maybe it's not. I think this is supposed to start on the back of the Cosmic Crucible event, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the Trials and Tribulations, uh, which is actually 22 to, it should be 22 to 25, yep. And then Rally Point either is not starting on May the 24th or it's been pushed back because it wasn't in the blog. So at this point, I'm going to put a question mark on it, actually. So I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, uh, with the subtotal down below, we have all of the events. There's the five items on the different events here. And we're at 680,000. We're 69,000 from the subtotal. I'm pretty sure I've included all of the squares this time. And I don't know where else that it's coming from. Yep, that's all the squares. I just had to double check on that one. So... I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I missed something as far as the events that we've had. We're here on Out of This World. This is the Gwenpool event that we're covering today. Uh, Trials and Tribulations is also going to be going on uh, today as well. Uh, but it's pretty easy. You know, basically, you know, if you have a full alliance, it's an alliance based Cosmic Crucible event. If you have everyone doing their attacks or, or winning their battles using new warriors because you get bonus points from new warriors, then you should be able to clear this no problem. It is worth 39,000 uh, currency though. So it's really important that you do that still. Otherwise, you're going to be even further away. From the 750k will this be the first month that we don't get 750 i'm not sure uh time will tell uh and how many days left do we have by the way of the milestone starting from this is from my recording which is going to be a day earlier actually so uh we're we're at like 10 days and the gwenpool event which starts on tuesday is about six days i think so there's not much time left for them to fill in the gaps here so i'm a little bit concerned but maybe we'll have to address this later on as we get closer to the time. Anyways, we're here to talk about Out of This World. So yes, it is a six-day event starting from May the 23rd at 2 p.m. Uh, and then it deals with raids and I say energies and brackets, campaign energy and brackets. Because you need to spend about a thousand a day. We'll take a look at that. It's actually already there in the charts. And some possible gold spending. We're going to draw some parallels between this one and the Captain Carter event to kind of compare and get an idea of what you might expect. Because I have the numbers down below of the Captain Carter event. I just copy and pasted from my Cap my Captain Carter event. So you can have an idea of the types of orbs that they had for that, if you don't remember, and what it costs for gold as well, comparatively to the points. So the total milestone, it does go up to 100 million points. And I have that here. This is the big chart for Gwenpool's uh, event. And it goes all the way down to milestone 40 down here at 100 million now obviously you're not going to get there so uh, we'll take a look at it you, you can see that all the the boldest stuff this is the event currency and then there's Gwenpool shards kind of lined up along the way but you really need to get to this point here which is 21 million uh sorry this point to net down here which is 21 million to get that 20 shards of Gwenpool to get her unlocked and there's an additional 40 shards up for grass further down it's going to be hard to get those though mind you and then of course there's going to be a leaderboard function which does give you additional Gwenpool shards as well that's listed in the math chart over here off to the side so you need to get 15 million for the event item and the rest of the event currency 
not a big problem. That's fine, you know, because really your goal is 21 million, which gets you the 100 shards unlocked. So this is pretty easy because the other web milestone, which again is just doing your normal stuff, most of your normal stuff, you should be able to get or no problem. If you want to get more shards for Gwenpool, this is either going to require you to spend a lot of gold potentially, uh, or yes, well, I guess from a free to play manner, yeah, it would just be spending gold. So I don't know why I was talking about that there. There's 50,000 uh, of blazing XG month long currency in this as well. Now, there is a web milestone. It's called Escape Velocity Web Milestone. I posted it here. It's worth 19.8 million points. This is a lot. It's daily, requires 1,000 campaign energy daily to be spent. And so that's not very difficult. Okay, so you get your 600, uh, which is for your raid keys. You need to do a little bit more. You're going to need to do some coring here, probably. Uh, not a huge amount of coring, though. I mean, I can just go back up to one of my... I, I didn't regurgitate it again, but I have these, you know, campaign... Just a reminder here. This is how much that you get typically per day is 1,108. So as long as you're doing your web milestone, you're doing your four refreshes, and you're doing your free refreshes that you get three times a day, this shouldn't be that hard. You know, I didn't, I'm not going to start putting this in every single video uh, for every math video because you should know this by now. In terms of that your available, you know, free to play reasonable total for energy is about 1100. So that shouldn't be hard to you for you to do. You get 3.3 million points from this times 6. That's 19.8, which is very close to that 100 shards for the Gwenpool free to play unlock. It also does get you for sure the event item there. So you do need to make an extra 1.2 million outside of this but that's not hard either so here you have the raid battles you get a hundred thousand points per raid battle up to a limit of uh ten thousand or sorry ten million two hundred so what is that really and i actually i didn't even write that down uh but really <laughs> I should have. Let's just do it over here. So it's just that divided by that which is 102 raid battles this should not be that hard to do because you can do about 20 per day. If you do 10 on both raids, then that's 20 per day. There's six days, so reasonably you should be able to get in 120. So that gives you a little bit of wiggle room in case you forget or you're unable to or whatever the case is that you should have no problems capping this out at 10.2 million, which is probably why I didn't include that because it's pretty easy to do. So 10.2 million plus 19.8 million is 30 million, right? So that is more than possible for you to get to the rest of the stuff. However, like I put up here, Gwenpool, if you want to get the full 140 shards, it's 77 million points. So since there's only, uh, what is it, 30 million points that's free to play, then you need 47 million more from opening these stupid orbs, and that's going to cost you gold. Now, we didn't get a description as to how much gold that costs, and I believe for the Captain Carter we did in the blog post, so that's a little bit different, but we'll have to draw parallels between the points, and that's why I kind of listed that down below. Just to be sure, also, if you want to get those additional 20 shards from Gwenpool, up here not this last one but this one is 41 million so you may in fact be able to get 120 shards uh which is from here from the 41 million milestone because you're getting 30 million free to play you might need 11 million more but that's obviously going to cost you some gold so just be clear about that one you get five for free from the free claim so that actually might bring your total up to 125 did you spend any 675 core orbs previously on Gwenpool? That might also influence whether or not you're going to get a four star uh, free to play as well, or if you want to bridge the gap or not. So that's going to be entirely up to you. And I do want to take a look before we take a look at the Captain Carter stuff. I want to look at the leaderboard, right? So uh, hopefully, I'll just, let me zoom in on another touch or two. It's kind of hard to read a little bit here, unfortunately. I just copy and pasted it from the blog post. Uh, but you can see here that at like 1% to 2% and 3 to 10%, because that's where a lot of people seem to uh, congregate, is uh, 35 shards and 25 shards. So you might be able to bridge the gap, maybe if you had spent 675 corbs on a couple of Gwenpool orbs. So for example, if you get those additional 20 shards, the 120 total, and then plus the 5 from the free claim, that's 125. If you get, say, 1% to 2%, that's 160. Now it's really close to that four star, right? So had you pulled those orbs before, that might be able to bridge the gap. Now, whether or not you're gonna actually get the full 140, that's where you would get the four star free to play. You would include the leaderboard payout plus the 140 shards if you're someone who has a lot of gold because that's the only way that you're gonna be able to bridge the gap here on the points. To get to that 77 million from the 30 million, that's a difference of 47 million that you're gonna to need to make up through these points, which you can see in the orbs below. So one pool party orb is 750K. This is really important because the name of the orb is important. If you look at the other ones, super rad gear orb, pretty sweet gear orb, 
Sciency tech self orb. So these two for sure are gear orbs. And the difference in points between 600 and 200k, my guess is this is some sort of gear tier 16 orb. It's not in the store right now uh, because I'm doing this a day in advance. And it, frankly, it probably won't even be there until the actual launch of the event. Uh, and then sweet gear orb, that's probably a purple or orange gear. Just looking that this is three times more. So this is probably going to be like gear tier 16. If we're lucky, it might be okay. And this one's going to be like some orange gear. Or, or worse, potentially. And Sciency Tech Stuff Orb, it doesn't say gear in it, so I'm not sure. Leave a comment down below what you think this might be. For 250k points, uh, my guess is it's not a gear orb, because otherwise it would have said so. And the Pool Party Orb, I'm thinking that it might have a small chance for you to get Gwenpool Shards. Uh, that seems very likely from the Captain Carter event that I'm going to showcase down below again, uh, because there were orbs for her event that allowed you to get shards both for Gwenpool, or sorry, both for Captain Carter and for US Agent. So I want to scroll down to that, the Woman and Tie and Milestone. So a lot of this is not going to be important to you right now, but what's important is the four orbs that they had. So there was Royal Reserve Orb, the Strategic Reserve Orb, Patriots Orb, and the Royal Soldiers Orb. So these were, and I listed them. This is how much points that you got. 600k, 200k, 200k, 200k for the milestone. Now this one caught the Royal Reserve Orb cost 500,000 gold. But uh, this gave you G16 and 17 minis, which a lot of people were opening for a chance of these minis, which was back in January, a lot harder to get. Now, obviously, this is not the case now. People are doing a, a quite a bit better on G16s and 17s. The strategic reserve orb was a little bit lower on the on the totem pole there. It was G14 to 17, including catalysts. But this is where the shards were, was the Patriots orb and the Royal Soldiers orb, which is why I had them highlighted. That was 200k per orb for Carter and US Agent shards, and then just flat out Captain Carter shards in the Royal Soldier orb. So you did have to spend, if you wanted to, rather, to get up there in the milestones, then you would need to do that as well. Or if you just wanted additional shards for it. Now, you didn't have to do this free to play. It was mostly people who spent gold on this. And, and to be frank, I, I did. I remember doing a, an orb opening video for this and I did. And this allowed me to push Captain Carter to five star, but I did spend a lot of gold on this. So now in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have done that. And I don't personally recommend doing this unless you really, really, really want to push those Gwenpool shards, but it's not something that I personally recommend. I remember this, I wrote this down, 10% chance of Peggy Carter shards in the Royal Soldier Orb. So that means that every, I, I basically had to spend 2 million gold just to get a chance at a drop for Peggy Carter. And I rem I don't remember how much gold I spent on this, but it was a fair bit. And uh, I did get some bonus stuff from the milestones, I remember, but nonetheless, it was a lot of gold spent. So I want to draw this parallel because I think this really comes down to this pool party orb and what it actually contains. That's probably the biggest question mark right now as to whether or not Gwenpool shards are included and how much it costs. For 750,000 points though, Based on the previous one, oops, I didn't mean to scroll up. Based on this one, which was 500,000 gold for 600k points, you're looking at maybe potentially either 500,000 gold for this pool party or, or about 600,000 gold. So anywhere between 500 and 6,000 gold is probably what I'm expecting out of this pool party orb. And this one's the biggest question mark because is this going to contain shards for characters that we want? It could even be beyond Gwenpool, frankly, uh, because some of the other orbs also did include other rebirth characters and um, OG cap, you know, farmable characters. But nonetheless, you know, this might have as well. Are there going to be some Firestar shards in there? Who knows? Is there going to be other New Warriors characters in it? Probably. But we don't really know that yet. And so I'll probably have to make another judgment call based on maybe like Tuesday afternoon when the event goes live. Uh, or at least, you know, let people know via the Discord. Uh, I would like to update the gold portion so I know how much gold that this costs so that we can do a more reasonable assessment in terms of how much gold you might have to spend if you do want to get Gwenpool to four, uh, to four star. But... Just know that if that's something that you're looking to do, then you're going to need to spend a decent amount of gold, which, again, I don't have. I just put it into Nova, and so I don't really have a ton, so my ability to get beyond a three-star Gwenpool is probably very slim to none. But there might be some of you who both really want Gwenpool because of the Cosmic Crucible content of, you know, having been able to, con especially this week, right, being able to counter the Tangled Web Eternals really easily if you've already raised Firestar. This might be of good value to you. Uh, but unfortunately, and I will get Gwenpool. I just, I think I'm probably going to be stuck at three star, but nonetheless, there is that opportunity for you to get four star Gwenpool free to play 
if you have the resources and that's really what it comes down to when it comes to marvel strike force the more resources that you have saved the more resources that you have hoarded the, the better that you will do at events typically especially now that they're bringing back these resource orb opening-esque events in the future so that's the end of this video everyone and don't forget that this will be available on the boylon discord in the boylon's resources channel so do check that out if you're not a member already and of course until next time stay safe and healthy and i'll see you all later boylon signing out